Right, well here we have the B Stable Cam Horizon HF3. But before I take a closer look at this, let's see what else you get in the box here. You've got some instructions which are pretty rudimentary but tell you what you need to know. You've got a guarantee card. Incidentally I saw on the website that you actually get technical help for life. You've got USB charging cable. You've got a couple of LiPo batteries and an independent battery charger which you use via the USB cable and incidentally while I'm on that subject you can actually plug into the USB on here and charge in the device and you've got a small counterweight which attaches by screw on the end of the roll motor for use when you're using a bigger camera they say like an iPhone 6 or whatever now looking at the device itself the HF3 is designed primarily for smartphones which is why you can see it's got this opening and closing jaw on it. The HG3 is designed for action cameras so it's got a different bracket but looking closer at the device you've got a power on and off button here press for four seconds you've got a joystick here which will let you swivel and rotate on this side you've got a quarter inch tripod screw mount and that's an AV out incidentally it's got a little rubber bung in it as did the USB charger here and on the opposite side of this nicely shaped trigger handle you've got the mode button and you've got a button that's got an icon of a camera on it the idea being with the camera that there's built in Bluetooth here and when you use it with a smartphone it will actually allow you to take stills it works with my phone as well I tried it yesterday although it wouldn't stop start video so getting back to the USB charging port it's also the port where you will upgrade the firmware which it mentions just here a bit more of that later it was quite a painless process I'll also link to a video on YouTube that somebody else has made telling you how to update the firmware I've already charged the batteries they just go in like so they warn you not to power it up while it's not loaded so I will stick in my very cheap budget smartphone got to put it in this way round just a question of pushing that up slide the phone in bit tricky but if I can manage it I'm sure you can right so I've got the phone hooked in now as you can see it's flopping about a bit here so to power up is a question of press and hold the power button just by the joystick for four seconds. I would advise you to put your fingers in front of the motor here because it swings around and it might swing into the motor and break the screen. So press and hold and as you can see it's jumped into life. Okay so by pressing the mode button you'll scroll through various modes. Right well default mode is heading follow so if I move my hand it will gradually follow my movements while maintaining a true horizon now if I give the mode button one more press it will try and maintain the same heading now if I give the mode button a double press it will go into vertical mode still in heading follow I don't know if you can see that and if I give it a triple press it will do a 360 degree pan nice smooth pan and still maintain the horizontal view where it's rocking about a bit there so that's basically the three modes and back to there and as you can see it will still maintain that heading no matter which I no matter which way I move the handle so to power down it's a question of press the power button for four seconds I'll now try it with an action camera in maybe you'll see it better with that HF3 is primarily designed for smartphones but very easy to mount an action camera like so this is the Firefly 7S 
about the same size as a GoPro. I think it's exactly the same size as a GoPro. Now to fit this, it's a question of get the mount this way. Pretty important the way that you actually put the thing in. Open the jaws and put the camera in this way, facing away from you. So it's in. And if I power it up now with a four second press of the power button, you'll see it's in horizontal framing mode. Two presses of the mode button and it's in vertical framing mode, which of course for an action camera is horizontal framing mode. And as you can see, it's in heading lock mode and it's keeping the pitch and roll under control with its built-in gyro stabilization like so and of course you've got the three clicks which give a 360 degree pan where it's also maintaining vertical and horizontal levels just like that so it'll give you nice smooth shots when you're handling your smartphone or camera. So that's just about that. Let's take a look at some test clips. Right, well we've got two bunch of action cameras here. The SJ5000X Elite and we've got the Git Up Git 2 just to compare how the stabilization works. At the moment this is in heading follow mode. I'll swing it around a bit up and down. A bit foggy and misty here this morning as you can see. I'll change the mode to right this is heading lock mode and as you can probably see as I move one camera staying locked and the other isn't any place I go now one press of the mode button I'm in heading follow mode. So I swing around here and the one that's on the gimbal will be slowly panning and moving. And of course if I do three presses, of course if I do three presses you'll see me stood here see my amazing test apparatus. Not deliberately shaking my hand here, but any kind of movement on the... Any kind of movement is taken out by the gimbal. I think that just about concludes this little test.
and I can change the pan and tilt with that way. So let's try this and see what we've got. Whoa, Jesus Christ, give us a break. Right, so go to the website, beststablecam.com, Horizon HF3, support, download, and then you've got calibration tool for Windows, you've got USB driver, and you've got firmware updates, firmware version 1.12 for the HF3 and the HG3. Okay, so then you've got three files, you've got the firmware update version 1.12, you've got a driver file and you've got the calibration tool which also lets you upgrade the firmware. Plug in the camera, install the driver which is a question of clicking on either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version. Plug in the camera, turn it on and click on calibration tool. And if the camera is plugged in it will come up with whichever port you're plugged into. Click on firmware upgrade, browse for the file when it's installing a light flashes and when it's done it comes up and tells you it's done so that was quite straightforward once it's upgraded it tells you it's done I can't do it again because I've already installed it but um, it went without any problems I didn't bother about the calibration because it appears to be functioning okay bear in mind when you're upgrading firmware make sure you don't interrupt it while it's doing it otherwise you're very likely to brick the device <laughs> 